Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at CARICOM Single Market and Economy, which is CSME. Okay, so we're going to look at what is harmonization of foreign policy. Okay, so what is this? This is really the process of creating common standards across the internal market. That's it in a nutshell. Okay, but I'm going to give you the details of what we really mean by harmonization of foreign policy. Okay, now the idea behind foreign policy, harmonization, right, is that this will um, strengthen the region in its dealing with the wider world, right? So from this position of strength, the region will be better placed to ensure that, you know, any arrangements made externally will serve the best interests of the region, right? Now, presenting a, you know, a united front, right, in foreign affairs um, also will, you know, this will also, you know, tend to enhance regional identity, okay? So that's harmonization of foreign policy. And that's the detail of it, details of it, okay? All right, so moving on to the single market. Okay, now the single market, the key elements within, you know, the idea of a single market are first up, Free movement of goods and services. What is this? Now, free movement of goods and services achieved through, you know, measures um, such as eliminating all barriers to um, intra-regional movement and harmonizing um, standards to, you know, ensure acceptability of goods and services for trade. Okay? So next up, we'll have rights of establishments. Now, this is really permitting the establishment of CARICOM-owned, the CARICOM-owned businesses, right, in any member state without restrictions. And next up, we have free movement of capital. Okay, what is this? Now, this is through, you know, measures such as Eliminating foreign exchange, controls, convertibility, and also uh, of currencies uh, or the adoption of, you know, common currency. And also the creation of um, an integrated capital market such as uh, regional stock exchange. Okay. So next up, we'll have free movement of skilled labor. Now, this is um, achieved through measures such as removing all obstacles to the free movement of skills, labor, and travel harmonization, um, harmonizing, sorry, social services. For example, like education, health, um, etc., right? And also providing for the transfer of social security benefits and establishing common standards right and also measures for you know accreditation and equivalency okay all right so moving on to a common trade policy what is this so what does this mean now a common trade policy which would you know they would see um agreement among the members regarding matters related to internal and international trade and also uh coordinated external trade policy, which is negotiated on a, you know, joint basis. Okay, so next up, we have a common external tariff. Okay, what does this mean? No, this means, um, this would see a rate of, you know, duty applied by all members of the market to a product imported from a country that is not a member of the market, okay? So that's what external tariff means, a common external tariff. So last but not least, free circulation. What is this? Uh, this is really, um, this would allow like free mo movement, right, of goods imported from um, 
extra regional you know sources which would require collection of taxes at first point of entry into the region right and provide for sharing of collected cost of revenues okay so that's single market okay so these are um, the key elements within the idea of a single market right so moving on to single economy now we're going to look at some of the um you know a single economy would see you know harmonization as uh, so first up we're going to look at legislation all right what do we mean by this this um really include um includes um company laws and those involving intellectual property rights right so next up fiscal policy measures what is this no this includes coordinating um, indirect taxes and national budget deficits okay next up monetary policy measures no this includes coordinating exchange rate and interest rate policies right and also coordinating the commercial banking market um, and exploring the introduction of a CARICOM common currency okay last but not least economic policy measures what is this no this one includes coordinating and coveraging um, of macroeconomic policies and performance and for those of you who, do, who don't know what macroeconomics is i suggest you look it up and so um so macroeconomics policies performance and harmonizing um, foreign investments policy and adopting measures to acquire develop and transfer appropriate technology and introducing appropriate policies across agriculture manufacturing and fisheries okay that was a long one okay all right so guys uh national governments within the region have to consider which areas of the economy such as you know sustainable energy agriculture manufacturing or tourism are likely to be the main drivers of economic growth right and therefore of development and transformation okay right now what we'll be looking at next are uh uh, up next, we have uh, to look at the common supportive measures of the revised treaty of Shagaramos, right? So that's what's up next. All right, common supportive measures. And now, as I said before, this is um, of the revised treaty of Shagaramos, right? Now, these are also known as the features which are implemented through the CSME okay so we're going to look at them first up developing of programs what is this now developing of programs is to really assist community nationals in nurturing the appropriate attitudes and acquiring the necessary knowledge and skills that will sh um, like allow them to you know function effectively right now next up we'll have developing of attitude and skills okay what is this now simply put developing of attitude and skills required um to encourage entrepreneurship okay then. so moving on to strengthening and establishing now, this is really where educational and training um, institutions and building distance education is concerned, right? So that's strengthening and establishing, right? All of that. All right, so moving on to promoting multi multilingual skills. Okay, 
Now, promoting multilingual skills at all levels for, you know, general education with like particular emphasis on the needs of the services sector. Okay. All right. So next up, we'll be looking at Regional Development Fund. Okay. Now, this is for the sole purpose of providing financial or technical assistance to a disadvantaged sectors, countries, or regions. Okay? Now, this fund was also established under the revised Treaty of Shagaramas. Okay, guys? Okay. Now, it is a part of an overall strategy that seeks to address the disparities among member states, right? Well, that may result from the, you know, like implementation of the CSME, right? All member states contribute to the financial capital of the fund following a formula agreed by CARICOM heads of government, right? Now, the fund has also received technical assistance grants from the Caribbean Development Bank and the EU, okay? So, what we're also going to be looking at is that um, all members of CSME contributing to the CDF are entitled to receive financial and technical assistance support from the fund, right? Now, uh, guys, just in case um, you're wondering what all these acronyms are for, um, they were mentioned in my previous videos, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to put below, you can look below, um, you'll see two videos that I'm going to, um, you, you'll find those acronyms in it, um, Administrative Bodies of Regional Integration Organizations and Objectives of Major Integration Initiatives, okay? So see below, right? All right. So, and you can check the previous videos also if you're not finding those acronyms because they're very important. All right, so where was I? Okay, initially, um, you know, initially access to the resources was, you know, limited to the region's LDCs in the OECS to Belize and to Guyana, right? Which, you know, as a highly indebted poor country, those are poor countries, right? Now, the CDF focuses on distributing loans and grants to small to medium-sized uh, projects that address objectives related to the implementation of the CSME. Okay? Okay, guys, that's the end of my video. Uh, thanks for watching. And guys, for those who have subscribed, thank you very much. And for those who have not yet subscribed, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to so that uh, we viewing alone cannot um, help you because when you subscribe, you'll know when I re um, release a new video, okay? That's the way, and it will help you to understand by watching um, all of the videos, it'll help you to understand the, the full syllabus, right? Okay, right? So if this video was helpful to you, you can like, you can subscribe, you can share, and leave a comment if it is, um, if there's something I missed. You can just leave a comment and I'll try to explain it better for you. Okay? Alright, thanks guys. Bye!